All right, guys, uh, batteries all set up here for the 12 volt configuration. Is a 2S, 2P, 2 series, 2 parallel. This battery is a 8.3, 8.2, 8.3, 8.2. So it's almost the same to 8.2, 8. almost the max, I think is 8.4. That gives you a similar specification with the um, uh, the Nissan Leaf. So these are two batteries here. So if I take it just 8 volt, 8 volt, 8 volt is 16 volt. Okay, 16 volts, that just works perfectly for these uh, Magnums here. I already have the temperature remote hooked up and the temperature sensor so it can monitor the, the heat or temperature on the batteries. So these are the result here is 15.2. So it's about 8 millivolts. He has to put back with uh, adding the amps. There's another one here. I never connected yet. I haven't done that yet. But I want to charge this battery and see how it goes. So we're going to initiate the charging here. I already set the parameters. To, it's gonna charge all the way to 16 volt. It's gonna charge up to 16 here. I'm gonna hook up the uh, the AC in to the batteries. I have the cord here, extension cord already. There's a power on here, and I'm gonna be initiating the uh, device to charge. I'm gonna plug this guy here. So we have a battery um, kilowatt here. To monitor how much power we're taking and we're gonna set this one since it's a 15 amp breaker so we want to make sure you get it to 15 I don't want it to trip set that and um, you go back here so battery type you can see on custom it's a 16 16 all this is done get back to meter we're gonna turn the inverter on now okay okay it's inverted right now it's searching you can see the light pulsing right there so it's ready to go so we're gonna initiate the uh, the batteries are over there so we're gonna initiate the uh, charge we got this guy set up here. And what? Check this out. You just click. So it's gonna start charging the batteries. The relay just clicked. It takes some few, about I think 10 milliseconds to 15. It's gonna do it. Just be patient, it's coming. The ramp's gonna be wrapping up pretty soon. The light is pulsing. I don't wanna miss that. <laughs> I want you guys to see this. Okay, there we go. Almost 60 amps, 59 amps. So he has to sync with the, the grid and make sure that, there we go, fan kicks in. Fifteen point five. It's gonna take a while to charge everything, it's gonna be up. So the batteries are here. And battery temperature sensor is hooked up. Terminals, I got my wires, a two cable, number two, I'm using on this. It has a temperature compensation. So, so these are the charging of the batteries right now. Remember, the voltage is going to be high and the amps probably already dropped. So we have to fill up the, the tank, fill it up. It's gonna take a while and everything's gonna be a charge and I'll report to you on part three of this video how everything is done and we're gonna we're gonna test this batteries to see how much they, they're gonna handle load 
Live from the command center, JW Solar USA. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for part three. Bye for now. Like and subscribe to the channel. And you can see how I'm going to incorporate two of these inverters to those batteries and see how long they're going to run for. Okay. We have a 60, 68, milliamp, uh, 68 um, amp hours on those two batteries. Because the wiring it would have been parallel, it was a 68 times 2, that would give you over, what, 100 and something plus. But they are 7 point something, to 8 volts, sorry. And we have to get it to series to the bus bar connected right here, interconnect and give it to the, uh, uh, the 16 volt. And that's what we're doing right now, we're charging. Okay? Amps are still fluctuating and see. Oh, let's see how many watts we're taking out from the grid. We're pulling 954. Okay, let's see the amps. 8.4 or 8.3 amps we're taking from the grid to charge these batteries. Okay. It's about 960. It fluctuate. Almost 960 from the grid, 965, the highest I've seen. And there's a fan right here. These are all the, um, make sure your inverter can take the input supposed to be higher so you can hurt your inverter. So this inverter can go up to about 17 volt. Okay. And um, about 133 amp DC input and the output is 120 it's a 60 Hertz this is the US version so guys this is how things are going this guy you need that because it's a inverter and a charger you need that to charge your batteries look at that it's almost 15.7 it doesn't mean that's uh, uh, 15 it's almost about 3 3 millivolt then it's going to go 16. It's not going to just go 16 and stop because the amperage has to go up, fill up the batteries, make sure the batteries are well fed and the amp started dropping, dropping, dropping all the way to zero. Then it's going to go full charge. Thanks for watching. Love you guys all. Live from Minnesota, JW Solar USA. This is my little setup here and this is the experiment I'm doing and I hope um, everything uh, makes sense to you if you have more questions you can ask or just keep watch the vi uh, video series I already posted there subscribe and share